My name is Wayne and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a video that you've been asking for for a long time and I've been wanting to make, well, all summer. Today I'm finally going to review the Hotchka suspension and the bare brakes in what I've been calling my Redfish Cuda, my 1970 Red Cuda. In case you're new to the channel, a quick rundown on the vehicle is I had the original 3D3 in storage but this is a 400 stroke to 471 cubic inches. It's the factory 23 spline four speed and it has a gear vendors overdrive on it and a McLeod RST twin disc clutch with a 373 gears in the eight and three quarter rear axle. And now I did that a couple years ago. This year, the project has been the suspension and brakes, wheels and tires. So I had the eight and three quarter up back narrowed to V body spec so I can run a little wider tire and move the rear leaf springs in with offset shackles. And it has the full Hotchkiss TVS suspension system, except for the upper control arms. I swapped those out for the SBC upper adjustable control arms because I was having some clearance issues with my wheels because they have a little more offset than standard. So I went with the SBCs. Those gave me enough clearance that I needed. And the brakes are the bare two piece front and rear. 14 inch six piston in the front and 13 inch four piston in the back. First though, I do want to give out a special thanks to Bear and Hotchkiss. They were great to work with. They make some killer products. Their support has been really good. Have any questions or you want their products, make sure you check them out. In case you're wondering, I am not paid or sponsored by Hotchkiss and Bear, so this isn't a paid promotional video. Um, they gave me a little bit of a discount, but this is just my honest review of the parts I purchased. And I really think there's no better way to give a proper review than getting in the car and going for a drive. So that's what we're going to do. I think that one of the biggest ways I can describe how the car drives now is it's really confidence inspiring. Um, it, it just handles you know all the corners uh, with such ease now. You know before you'd see you know a twisty road or God forbid you know a roundabout and you'd be like ah oh, this is not going to be fun. But now it, it's like you want to attack them. You know it's exactly what I was wanting it um, how this to drive and feel so really just like more of a modern car suspension and performance and capable right it's so capable now versus before you know one thing i was concerned about is if the car would just feel really stiff after all these upgrades you know with the torsion bars and the sway bars on the car but but it doesn't it's it does feel 
you know it's a lot firmer it is a firmer ride but I have the Hotchkiss Fox adjustable shocks set on their a more conservative setting right now so those can be turned up but you know I've been on some rough roads even some dirt roads and to me the, the the feeling and the comfort is fine, it's adequate, and uh, it's not too stiff by any means. It, I think there's enough compliance that I'm happy with it, and it doesn't feel overly stiff. You know, it doesn't feel, like I said, part of me thought it might just be like an old car that was now all of a sudden really stiff, but it, but it's not. It's, I think uh, Hotch just did a really good job about, you know, building this complete system. That's one reason why I went with the TVS system, because, you know, it's built basically from one manufacturer designed to work together and I was just a little afraid of mixing and matching different parts from manufacturers you, know, you get different you know sway bar rates or how you know how stiff they're going to be versus torsion bars and you know I like the idea that one company built this um, package to work together and you know I, again I find the ride um, really enjoyable it's uh, yeah I'm real happy with it so as far as comfort level I'm also really happy to say that so far no squeaks with the suspension I was a little concerned with, you know, the poly bushings and whatnot and, and uh, all the suspension components that I might have some, but so far so good. So that's nice. It all is nice and quiet. So great news there. The other thing that's really noticeable now is the steering. You know, I do have the Borgeson quicker ratio steering box. Combine that with the Hotchkiss um, steering components in the front. And I am also running the PG Classics. Um, reproduction tough wheel which is a little smaller diameter and combine that as well with the 275 front tires and man the steering is just great you know I, I couldn't imagine wanting a quicker ratio for any reason right now the input is great it doesn't take much at all to change I can do a lane change um, just a little bit of input does that going around corners it, it's just great I'm really 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 happy with the steering now and really communicative and um, yeah, if anything, what I noticed now is that, man, these seats are not holding me in place, but that's another subject there. And in regards to the wheels and tires, man, do these tires have a lot of bite. They have a ton of traction, and it's even cold right now. I can't even imagine how good they're going to be in some warmer weather. And uh, I know I had some concern originally with going with, with a 275 front tire. I hear some people who have had complaints or issues with the cars uh, 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 tramming or picking up like the ruts in the road and kind of you know, steering you to the right or the left and just really getting caught up in the grooves. But so far, yeah, I haven't had any experience with that at all. So I think that could be a good part of my alignment settings that I went with maybe. But um, either way, yeah tires uh, are great so really really happy with them now let's talk about the brakes real quick you know these are four-wheel disc uh, manual disc and the biggest thing you notice with that is it does take a little bit more pedal effort right um, the pedal is very firm though um, I have noticed that the first time I press the pedal it's not as firm as on the second or third which makes me think there could be a little air still in the system but you know the, the, the braking force is, is really impressive with these. I mean, driving around the street so far, um, haven't pushed it as hard as what y'all would like to, um, like on, on a track with repeated braking anyway, but man, does this thing stop great. Before, it was just, you know, dreadful to drive with the manual drums. I mean, ah, just scary, right? Just a lot of confidence inspiring now driving the car the way it is, and it's just great. You know, the brakes are just fantastic. You know, if I would have had a, a less aggressive cam or more of a mild combination in the motor, you know, I probably would have went with the hydraulic brakes, but going the route I did with uh, this cam, this engine, the manual brakes, I'm fine with so far. We'll see. Like I said, I need to get it on some uh, more of a test track, doing some high speed braking and more repeated braking to get even a better feel, but so far so good. Really happy with the bare brakes. So after driving this car on the roads for a little bit, with enjoying this new suspension and brakes, it's been fun, but I gotta tell you, I think we need to get it somewhere else where we can really push it a little bit further. Maybe like, yeah, a private test track or a closed road. Yeah, that's what it is. So we're gonna go set up a slalom course, and have some fun.
exactly what I wanted. It's just so much fun, so much grip. You ready to get out of here? Let's do it. Let's go, cameraman. Well, I'm gonna call that a major success. For one, I was able to drive the car back home and nothing fell off of it. No, but seriously, it's just good to know that everything I put on was working great, even when I was able to push it a little bit harder today. And number two, county mountains never showed up so that was good so had a lot of fun and big thanks to my buddies greg and mike for helping me out with their video work couldn't have done it without them and uh yeah i'm just so glad i did these upgrades you know i think man once you drive a car that has upgraded suspension and brakes ah, i would never go back unless i had a car that i wanted to keep completely oe you know more of a show car or just keep it all completely original but man this was a lot of fun. I'm really glad I did it, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with the car in the future. So, yeah, stay tuned. Well, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I'd love to hear your thoughts, though. If you leave a comment below, I'd really appreciate it. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And you know the deal. If you turn on the bell notification, you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.